Hi, my name is Carlo Rico. Originally, I came from Philippines, and I work as a graphic artist, visual artist, portraitist, and art mentor. Okay, what we're gonna have today is um, about oil painting. So I have the materials here with me, and also like to show you how you're going to arrange your palette. Okay. Um, having all those colors that we're gonna use on this model, okay? And I have like, you know, uh, different kinds of uh, brushes here, and later on, I'm going to show you how you're gonna use each of the brushes while we're doing this model here. Okay, first thing you need to understand is <clears throat> how you're gonna work on the layers by having this kind of model here. Um, also, we're gonna have like um, a linseed oil here, okay, and also the the turps or turpentine, okay. So you have to prepare two container that you're going to have on your um, painting sessions. Like I have used um, um, two different kinds of turpentine here. This is a a very dirty one, and this is a clean one. All right. <clears throat> Start with. I'm going to have um, a little of turpentine with my um, palette here, okay? So we need to work on the layers. We need to um, cover every single um, corners of your, um, of your canvas. So having this kind of reference, we're going to start on having the, uh, the loose paint, okay? You have to cover it with layers of loose paint. So when you mix the turpentine with your oil paint, it becomes loosened, right? So this is how it looks when it becomes loosened. So you have to go over it, right? And as I discussed on my previous um, presentations, you know, every time you work on your model, you try to omit on working on, you know, on uh, details. You have to go and make it more uh, quicker, right, by understanding the, the process as you progress with your um, paintings. I uh, never use um, a darker background yet because I want to show you how you're going to build, okay, the, uh, the colors here. Even if you uh, can see that your background is quite a bit dark, you know, you don't go straight on that dark background. So again, I want you to understand that this is my own methodology. Okay, this is my own personal point of view. You are always welcome to disagree or disagree whatever I am uh, sharing with you here today. So, um, turpentine is um, quite a uh, big odor. You know, it's not really that strong, but it helps you to build your colors nicely. Because um, the, the quality of the turps really uh, make your paint to stick well on your canvas. Okay, you, you must... Uh, Learn also how to cover every single, you know, fabric of your of canvas. You don't need to see those gaps of whites of your canvas, and you know that is not really nice to show those uh, gaps in between, right? <clears throat> so when you're done of layering and covering the whole uh, canvas, right, you can start now or of uh, putting the, the layout here by using this um, quarter inch brush, right? 
Again, you have to hold your tools properly, okay? We don't hold it like this. We always hold it like this as you can, you know, uh, ex express the, uh, the movement of your uh, shoulder and hand. I'm gonna use a uh, burnt amber here for my sketch. As you can see here, I have like um, uh, a burnt amber here, okay, beside the, uh, the red. Okay, so again, you have to make a good comparison as with your model here, you know, the, uh, the negative space, okay, right there. Okay, and try to um, get work more on your, or concentrate more on your positive shapes. Okay, when you do the, uh, the quick sketching here, again, you have to look for the basic shapes. This is under the uh, principles of constructive drawing, all right? So let's say I have this um, base here or jar. Okay, so I have the, uh, the first shape right there and next is the, uh, the neck of the, that jar right there okay and that handle on, on this one okay and I have like um, a squash in here okay so I work on the shapes okay and also some you know uh, nice uh, shapes of grape right there okay So now here, okay, before we um, mix the, uh, the oil paint on the palette pad, okay, we need to have something like um, a medium. This is a, a linseed oil, okay? This is how to uh, get your oil paint blended well. So we try to get some bit of it, okay, from the bottle and try to slide down on your um, palette pad. So you can always use a palette knife, okay, to blend your colors. Never use your brush, okay, because you're not going to uh, uh, get the blend well, okay, if you use brush. That's why you have the palette knife, okay, this is how to mix your colors. So every time you're going to work on your model, okay, always um, works on the middle tones, okay. The middle tones is in between the darks and the lights, okay? So we have a darker um, shades here of the blue, and we have the lighter shades here of, of, the, uh, of the, uh, the colors blue. So you have to work in between. Why is that? Why we cannot uh, start on darks? This is my technique here. Okay, if you use a middle colors, you can always get easily to make it dark and you know, you can always get it easily, make it lighter. So you have to stay, have to stick on the, uh, the middle tones. So I'm going to make some um, blues here. Okay, in some, um, in some um, occasion, okay, you can always keep the lights here. Okay, so you just need to uh, get it light right there. Okay, so that way you can always have a very quick, you know, impressions, the uh, transitions of your colors. You don't need to struggle every time that you're going to have that light right there. Okay, so yeah, you can put the, uh, the lights right there, work on those uh, middle tones, and later on you can always work on Okay. There are no particular rules, okay, of how you're going to use your brush. Sometimes if you feel more comfortable on this one, okay, how you hold it like this or you hold it like this, okay, it always depends on the artist now of, you know, putting all these colors here. Okay, when you're working on something like this, all right, you don't have to blend entirely okay you have to keep those tones up okay because you have to know the secret of oil paint okay 
they uh, really blend well and gives you more volume. If you uh, make them, you know, to dry a bit, say like two minutes or three minutes, just leave the uh, the colors stay there, and then you can always come back on it and try to get that nice blending on the edges. Okay, so I'm going to push a little dark now on on this um, sides of your uh, model here. Okay, so you can skip this part of your uh, of your uh, squash. And we can always have, you know, a quick impressions here of that uh, handle right there. Okay. Okay, and yeah, some impressions here on the other handle on this side. Okay. So this is just working on the uh, first layer here of the actual colors that we're going to have here, okay? Now the secret in oil painting is, you know, just try to leave it. It's all about layering, technique, okay? You have to go on layers by layers of building your subject here. You cannot have it very nice, you know, uh, finished uh, paintings here. If you just try to blend it entirely, okay, you have to make them stick there, okay? And then you try to work on another um, section or another zone of your uh, model here. Let's say I'm gonna push some depth on the background. So I, I make that, you know, uh, background, you know, to go on darks a little bit, okay? So when I teach, I never recommend using a very dark black paint or black colors. So normally it's always a mixture of you know dark tones, like if you have blue or uh, raw amber, mix them together. Why is that we cannot use black? Because black is a very strong color that turns your, your paint to get up you know, out of tones. So, yeah, you can always try that. All right, so just to make it quick, you know, you can always uh, make this one to go on this kind of impressions here. Right there, all right, cool. All right, let's say we're gonna work now here on the, uh, the squash. So every time you're gonna change the colors, let's say you work on the darker shades, then you have to you know, make sure that it's clean. So you have to wash it on the turps that you have on your bottle. Okay, make sure it's clean that when you use the uh, lighter shades of different uh, colors, it won't mess your colors there okay make sure that your palette knife is clean all right so <clears throat> i'm going to take now the colors of the squash i'm going to have a cadmium yellow going to work on the middle tones and a bit of red to make them some orange there are always already mixed paint that are always available on your uh, on your um, art shop so, you know, just to save some money, okay, I, I just uh, work on mixing the uh, paint here, right? Again, I have to work on the middle tones. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna have a bit of uh, 
we paint right here. I mix it with my, uh, okay, with my, yeah. Okay, let's say you're going to have that, you know, uh, shapes of the, uh, of the, uh, the grave there, okay? You can always uh, skip that section. So when you bring that shape right there, it's not gonna mix with the colors of your squash right here. So yeah, working on the layers, working on the layers. Yeah, I love this kind of painting, very uh, on impressionism uh, styles. Because uh, impressionism gives you a, a quick, you know, finish result of your painting. Now I'm uh, trying to add a bit of the uh, of the darker values that we have here. Okay, working working on the shadows. Okay, as you progress on this one, you try to observe, okay, the colors that you are blending on your model here, right? Yeah, I try to get more depth, so you just need to get some nice mix of the colors on the darker values, okay. Again, if you notice, I am not really working, you know, very neatly on the contour of this object because the secret here is on how you're going to push the background here. This is how you're going to work on, you know, making the nice contour of your uh, squash right here. Um, this is our um, finished painting for uh, today. This is just a quick one. And uh, thank you guys for watching Bahrain International TV. Please stay home and be safe. Thank you.